Ew. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today, I'm gonna talk about The Boat Next. The film is directed by Norman Tokar. He's back, woo. Cinematography by William Snyder, editing by Cotton Warburton, and it is about the Coast Guard getting mixed up in a jewel heist. The titles and music for this film are so late 60s, early 70s. It's a little hilarious. The cinematography is very well done. There's lots of movement and a lot of dynamic lighting going on. There's a ton of ADR in this film, which is automated dialogue replacement. And it's when an actor has to go and re-record the lines they spoke on the actual day of set in a booth because the sound wasn't good enough. It's understandable that this happened because they were out in the bay in Los Angeles. So I'm sure the sound wasn't amazing. <laughs> but it was still really noticeable and kind of annoying. The film is really silly, which it was supposed to be, so it was very effective in that, but I just didn't love it. I didn't like any of the characters in this film, which made it really difficult to like because I didn't have any person to connect to. The film is very predictable, but it's also very bizarre. The Boat Nix isn't a masterpiece, but it's also not a bad movie. It was a well-made, well-rounded film, just probably not like my area of interest, but it was entertaining. I think I'm gonna give it four boats out of 10. Our total movie count is. Parents at Soul and Cry Counter are still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday. Did you guys like this film? I know a lot of people think this is a classic, so let's talk about it. I want to know why you think it's classic, why you really love it. Let's have that talk. Until next time, comment, like, and subscribe, but I'm not in charge of you are. So you do you, and don't be any of the jewelry thieves or the guy that ruins Mr. Mitchell's boat, because that was really sad. <laughs>